Kang, you are Division Chief of Microbiology at Sidra Medicine right here in Qatar, and you're joining us from Doha. It's great to have you with us. Your reaction, doctor, as a microbiologist to this Nobel Prize. Well, first of all, thank you for having me. This is definitely a very significant development uh, for medicine. So RNA and messenger RNA are key molecules in our cells that uh, tell our cells what to do, what proteins to make, and ultimately allow our cells to function and now allow all life to function on Earth. So um, what the significance of what they've discovered is how to stabilize that RNA. So we know, those of us that work with RNA, that RNA is very unstable. And, and when we put it inside our body, our immune system and our cells attack it right away and destroy it right away. Um, so they figured out how to bypass some of those immune responses by modifying the RNA, mRNA so that it could survive longer inside of our bodies, inside of our cells, to then uh, tell our cells what to make, what proteins to make. And, and that was a key part of uh, developing the COVID-19 mRNA vaccines. Doctor, if I can get you to cast your mind back to the pandemic days, before we had found a vaccine, when it first emerged in the news that mRNA was going to be used in this race for vaccines, and one of the labs was using this particular um, technology, what did you think? Did you think, oh, this is a great idea? Did you think, why didn't we think of this before? Did we think, where's this coming from? What? Um, those of us in microbiology and infectious diseases, um, we knew right away that would be a great idea because that, that's already been talked about for a while, but never had the right disease or the right time uh, and the right funding to push it forward. And COVID-19, the, the pandemic was the exact time, um, the, the perfect situation for, for this technology to be tested in, in an unprecedented way and to um, save tens of millions of lives as well, too. So. Um, it, it, it's sort of a, a, a lucky coincidence of, of these events, uh, the, all the discoveries that have led to us being able to use mRNA technology and then an unprecedented global pandemic to allow this technology to be tested and, and further developed. And, and there's going to be many more things that are going to come from mRNA technology. So other types of vaccines against other infectious diseases, against cancer, against other chronic diseases, because this is such an efficient way of telling ourselves, training our immune systems to recognize and attack uh, different uh, things in our body. Uh, it, it's definitely going to lead to more medical breakthroughs in the future. Dr. Patrick Tang, Division Chief of Microbiology at Sidra Medicine. Thank you so much.